get him. <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah, that's been there for like a few weeks though. Was that cold that did that? It's just on that one little row. Oh, wow. I took a pic, I meant to send you a picture of that, but I didn't, I, I was wondering the same thing. We gotta dig those sweet potatoes like the beginning of next week. Yeah, pretty soon, for sure. It grew like in one big clump. I yeah. remember that. The, well, the one I tried to hug the other day, it was like a big clump, but they were all relatively small and put together. So we have it on record. I'm planting a Peruvian apple cactus. Some fans of Jess sent this to her. I'm just gonna plant one of each of these. Oh, look, we have a couple more. Cause I don't know if the geese are gonna try to destroy these. I hope this one will actually stand upright. I'm probably gonna plant it like up to here. We'll see. And This one, which doesn't have many thorns, so I am a little worried about it, is a Optonia nopale, O-P-T-O-N-I-A, prickly pear. Uh, so I'm actually gonna cut these, these pads off the top, and I'm going to plant those as well in the other mound. This thing is very top heavy. I can just pull it off.
All right, y'all. I'm on the side of the road, but I know the person who owns this land, I'm sure he's fine with it. But look at this cool mushroom I just found. Oh, it's very soft. So this one fell down a little bit, but I got them off the tree and they turned like black almost immediately. And quite a few foraging books will tell you this is not edible and I've never tried it. So I don't know if it's any good, but I had somebody that really knows a lot more about mushrooms than 99% of the world. And he said it's edible when it's young. I think it's young enough. I think it just turns black at any stage when it's cut, but uh, yeah. Shaggy. Polypore. I'm gonna cut some up. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna cut them up and I'm gonna try it and see, make sure it doesn't make me sick or anything. Or if it's even any good. So it's definitely a weird mushroom for sure. So I didn't get around to it last night. So it's early in the morning before work. And I cooked my finger along with the mushroom. There it is. Looks like a piece of liver, honestly. I'm gonna just try a small amount. Just sauteed it in a little butter. It is not a very appetizing looking mushroom after it sat in the fridge for a night. It's like almost completely black. Hmm. All right, here we go. Like I said, just eating a small amount to make sure I don't, I know it's not poisonous, but my body might not react to it. Well, you never know when you're eating new food, so. Got a good flavor. Texture is almost jelly-like. I sauteed it pretty hard on one side, the other side. Maybe I should have sauteed it a little bit harder because that texture is a little bit difficult to deal with. I mean, it'd be better than other things because if you eat it with a piece of meat, it would, it would blend in. Taste is really good though, mild. Very mild flavor, definitely a good edible. I said the texture is a little funny. Cut it thin, saute it hard. If you're gonna eat it like with some noodles or something, I don't know. Good though. In like six or seven months, but it's really sweet, and it hasn't like it hasn't produced that much alcohol yet. So the alcohol is the product, is the byproduct of the I guess the yeast. Uh -huh. In there, they eat the sugar and they turn it into alcohol. So the longer you wait, the less sweet it'll be, the more alcoholic it'll be. Okay. A little bit drier it'll be. Yeah, it'll be, yeah. You almost passed out? No. I would have passed out. My adrenaline, I felt better in those moments. Your eyes were... <laughs> people's were, people's were probably like... Yeah. Dude, I was like, honestly... I've seen Taylor off on, almost die before in this house. Oh. Before. Yeah, when I went to the, um... When I got to the hospital, I was feeling such a high from like the adrenaline rush, you know? Yeah. I was just joking with the women. And then like, at first I was a little upset I was at the hospital and I was like kind of waiting so long to go into CAT scan, but then they told me the dude that was ahead of me had been shot eight times. 
Damn. So like my entire view of like the situation really got put into perspective in that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm good, dude. <laughs> like... You sure it was in focus properly? No. That's so beautiful. I mean, like, if you do this kind of thing, you don't even have to buy those things for your kids. You just hide some things in the seeds on the table. So, thank all of y'all who commented on YouTube and told me some ways to peel these so I don't get stickers in my hand. I'm going to try several different ways. I might film them all. I don't know. Um, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but it probably looks like the footage is better than it usually is because I'm using Taylor's camera. My camera malfunctioned and I'm I got a new one coming so that's the reason behind that but I have to keep that camera here during the day so Taylor can have it so I'm limited to what I'm only doing at home after work or if I do anything beforehand so that's the reason that the video is not as long as it normally is and y'all are seeing a lot more indoor footage and whatnot. But we'll try to get these peeled. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. Somebody said make some juice. Somebody said margaritas. Some some people said just eat them straight up. Maybe jam. I don't know. It's gonna be challenging because I've got stickers in my hand already. I'm not used to this camera, so I hope I'm in the frame. Some folks just said they lay them out and they splay them and they just try them straight up. So we'll see. That's also what my friend who gave me these pads, he just is careful with his hands. camera to focus on it.
think I should put some mint in it. I just wanna try it plain first. Alright, top of the Sunday morning too. Gosh, it's way foamier than I thought. This ain't gonna work. Shoot. It's delicious. Needs a little bit of lime juice, but I don't have any. It's so good, though. Yeah. 